Okay, so welcome to the final part of a two-part tutorial series on uh, creating illustrations using the pen tool and the vector objects in Fireworks. So what we're doing is we're, just to recap, we're manipulating this graph, this image here and recreating this vector illustration in Fireworks. So let's go ahead and zoom in onto one of these trees to kind of figure out what they did here. So we're going to create or duplicate one of these trees. So let's start off with our vector pen tool. We're just going to create the 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 tree branch or the tree stump or the stem. I'm just going to create a simple rectangular shape like that. So then and you can I'll just make it brown. Mine is brown at this point. So Okay, now we want to create, get your vector pen tool, and we want to create this little star effect. And we don't have to be exactly like it, but what we're going to do, we're going to click here. We're going to, let's actually create a palm tree, a different palm tree effect. So we're going to click, drag, click, click, drag, click, click, drag, click, click, drag, click, click, drag, click. Click, drag, click, 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 and click and drag. So we, we're creating this little effect there. And then let's give it a nice green color. Let's go ahead and group those that object. So what we're going to do is take our palm tree that we just created and bring it down here. And make it larger. Alright, so let's go ahead and create this island here. Zoom in. Let's create this island. Click here, with our vector tool. Click. Click our last point, but then we want to drag up. That creates our island effect. And then we can take our paint tool and copy the gradient colors there. Okay, so. With that there, we have our palm tree, and we want to do is drag Alt, our you know, and that creates a different copy of our palm tree. I'm going to scale it down. You put one there. Alt drag, and you can you can flip it horizontally. Scale it up just a bit, just to give it a different dimension. And you can stick it right there. So that's pretty much, this is the, the image that we started off with that we're using as a reference, and here is the graphic that I created. It's pretty similar. So what we're going to do is finalize it, and we're going to, let's select all the, the, the islands there. You're going to do copy, and you're going to paste and group them. So what you want to do is end up with a different set like this, and we're going to then flip it vertically and then we're going to send it to the back send it all the way to the back bring it up just a couple and then from there we want to go into the command option creative and this is CS3 so you can do fade image I believe in CS4 it's a vector mask so I want to just fade the image and that creates the that reflection effect that we see here. Okay, so let's remove, let's take a look at what we got. So this is the object we started off with, and this is the one I created. Very cool effect. So that's pretty much it. At this point, it's all a vector, so I can scale it down. 
uh, you know, scale it up. I can make it 300 DPI. I can use it for print, do whatever I, I want. Uh, and uh, it's pretty much let's it's pretty much done. So the the purpose of me showing you how to use the pen tool is because it's useful for creating icons, logos, graphics, illustrations like this. And I've learned to use the pen tool in Fireworks. And once you master it in Fireworks, I believe it's to me it's very easier to use in Fire. It's very easy to use in Fireworks versus uh, Illustrator. But once you master it in Fireworks, you can then um, use the same techniques and use it in Illustrator and create a vector object in Illustrator, uh, which uh, allows you to output uh, to EPS files and, and different things like that. Whereas creating these objects in Fireworks you know, um, allows you to have vector objects, but uh, you can't export this these this object here to an EPS file um, within Fireworks. You would have to do this in Illustrator and to do to, in order to do that. So, but there you have it. That's the tutorial. I hope this was helpful. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, upload the this file here to the description box. So if you need to use it as a reference, go ahead and uh, comment, rate and uh, look out for more videos and tutorials to come. All right, take care. Bye.